Is it visible? Uh, yes, ma'am. So day before yesterday, we had the trademark search class. So uh, all students are of same this thing or uh, are they different from now? Uh, they are from same class. Man. Same class. Okay, fine. Same so there's no that I have to introduce myself again, yes. right? Okay. So let us continue with the patent search. I think you have already seen this overview of IPR. And this is also fine. I don't know how many people have remembered it. Already it's been one day. Okay, so right now we'll only concentrate on patents. So patents, it is for 20 years and it is non-renewable. I hope you know why I'm calling this as non-renewable. Can anyone please send a, a message in the, good evening, uh, in the chat box? <clears throat> why patents are known as non-renewable? No one? Well, patents are non-renewable because after 20 years, it will be made publicized. That means it will be made available publicly for the uh, utilization of the society. Okay. So, the Patent Act is 1970. Uh, sorry for the disturbance. Just give me a moment. I need to take this call. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. So now we'll go for the patent tax, which is 1970. Okay, and uh, this is the introduction. Uh, first, I would like to uh, let you know that what is a patent and uh, I mean, patents can be granted for what all things it can be granted and all. Okay, so uh, see, a patent certificate that gives you the right to protect the invention. Uh, can someone please tell me whether my voice is audible? It's audible, man. Okay, done. So, and uh, for what all things patent can be granted for any products, devices, and systems. For compositions also, uh, patent can be granted. And for the processes or methods, what we are using or the technology process, particularly also patents can be granted. But for example, it is a, um, some traditional knowledge or it's already available or a well-known uh, invention, which is age, uh, carried over by old uh, areas and I mean years and all or era from new eras and all then that cannot be patented just an example it's a time machine right so it has to be for the patent invention patentable it has to be a new and non-obvious one and also a uh, it has to solve the technical problems what we are facing it has to be a uh, the problem what we are having it may be the problem may be big or small. It may be in the industrial uh, uh, area or it may be in your day to day life. So if you uh, if you say that, uh, I mean, without, um, uh, for example, day to day, we'll use this mixy and all. If there is no mixy, there is no life. I cannot say that, but it will ease our uh, utilization and the uh, application of our process and it will speed up the uh, time. So that is the thing. So, uh, so these type of small, small things also can be patented. So what is this criteria for patentability? Uh, first and foremost, it has to be very much novel. That means it should not be a copied one or an extension of the already available patent. Uh, also can patent it. If at all, it is giving a commercial value. If it is not giving any commercial value, it's just like a parallel or a similar type of patent, then it cannot be patentable, even though it is giving some one or two advantages. Okay, then, uh, it has to have an inventive step. Uh, if the slides are not changing, please let me know, okay? Okay. Then uh, the main thing is it should have the industrial applicability. That means uh, you are just doing some research and say that that research has to be patented. No, it has to be applied somewhere for the utilization of the society. <coughs> Sorry, you're doing this patent or research or the innovation. Uh, I mean, whatever the name you will be giving. And 
particularly it should not fall under the section 3 or 4. So uh, what are the section 3 or 4 I have uh, given here? In this 10 scenes, I think you can clearly see it. If not, I'll just enlarge it as a presentation. Is it visible? Yes, madam, it is visible. Okay. So uh, that invention uh, should not be against the natural laws. Uh, you cannot patent somewhere, something you say that, uh, for example, Newton's uh, second law, third law is there. It, it has to be not a contradictory part of that because it's already patented and well-known application which many people are using. You cannot say that uh, the Newton's law, whatever he has stated, is uh, <coughs> not even an invention. No, if at all you're saying that, you have to have a, uh, a solid proof. Okay, and with that, you have to make another new invention and you have to prove yourself. You cannot theoretically say that that law cannot be, uh, it's, it's not a patent or it's not an invention. You cannot just claim it as, as like, and you can, um, I mean, uh, uh, argue in the legal sections and all. Okay, then it, it should not be a method. Technologies are being uh, like a hereditary things which have come from, inherited from our ancestors. So these things cannot be, uh, patented but in the agricultural sector if you are finding some new invention which is met, uh, much applicable in the uh, crop growth or something that can be patentable again okay and then it should not be uh, for example you have some um, uh, three four devices you have just uh, uh, made it arranged it's like a building block so you're doing a building block thing and you're saying that it is a patent i want that uh, patent application to be applied then it is not possible it's as if like you are rearranging the known processes or node designs so that cannot be patented next uh, some mathematical or business methodologies or theories which have already like python theory you might have learned in your uh, mathematics sections and all so these cannot be your algorithm process and all these are all known if you are finding some new uh, formula and you say that i want to patent it it is not possible there are many tools for example which will give you a, a stat static uh, uh, rules and uh, some you know <clears throat> some formulas and all you just uh, arrive to some formula and say that uh, this formula is new it is not written in any books and i can can i patent it no it has been used by different uh, formulas which are already been proven by some ma uh, mathematicians so or algorithms and all so that cannot be patented but yes if you are doing some uh, series of things which are new you can surely copyright it but you cannot patent it then what about the uh, some treatments or uh, some you know, uh, drugs. Uh, if you say that many people will come to us uh, saying that we have invented a new molecule of the drug, but that molecule already known, which is not known if you are uh, finding something that has uh, that has to be registered. If at all it is a biotechnology, then uh, it has its own standards of NBA. So you have to register your uh, part in that, and then only you can patent it. So these type of uh, pharmaceutical and all, because they need a lot of in vitro and in vivo uh, experimentation and it takes of phases of differences and all. First, what you can do is you can take a provisional patent and then go for your uh, revision of patents in, in the regular basis. That will come uh, in the next coming slides. Then, <coughs> sorry, a traditional knowledge. For example, uh, an item you want to cook. You cannot say that uh, it, is, uh, it is a thing newly i have added some pepper but uh, traditionally it has been adding uh, a chili but i have added pepper so please patent it no it's not possible it has to be entirely new product which is coming out of it then uh, the topographical and uh, geographical indications or presentations of uh, uh, circuits and all cannot be patented and uh, particularly uh, inventions related to atomic energy like rare earth minerals and all cannot be patented okay <coughs> So uh, there are different types of patents. Uh, most of the known uh, things are like provisional applications. I mean, in the types of applications I'm talking about, while you are registering your patents, you have to see under which application uh, procedure you want to uh, register the patent, whether it is a provisional application, ordinary application, or non-provisional application, or a conventional application. PCT means it comes under the international application. Even for the PCT uh, national inter international application phases, you first have to patent it in India, and within 12 months, you have to go for the international publications. Then patent of edition. What is patent of edition? Can anyone see? Someone is uh, asking me some question. <coughs> Mr. Ravitesh Jagaru, please repeat it. I'm not able to see that. Is anyone asking me a question? No, madam. No, madam. You can continue. 
<clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yeah, there are no. Uh, yeah, am I audible? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. Audible. So no one can, uh, no one knows that what is patent of edition, right? At least any doubt till here, please let me know. Patent of edition is an application which is made uh, for the patent to undergo the improvement or modification. That means, see, uh, if you are already done with your claims and all, and after that you feel that no, uh, something more uh, I have done or uh, something more I want to add, then that is called as patent of uh, uh, edition, which is having another form. So you have to uh, go to the attorney and fill that form and apply it. So that is known as patent of edition. So <coughs> there are five advantages. I mean, I'll, uh, there are many advantages of patent registration, obviously. But uh, particularly when you go for the patent registration, you have five main applications. Uh, advantages. That is, uh, first of all, your uh, proprietary. Proprietary means your main creation, your IP or innovation you have created on your own will be under your complete control. And it will have a longer duration for 20 years. The complete decade will change in the 20 years. Within uh, Now the technological advancements are such fast that it's going in a very faster pace. So obviously, uh, within one or two years itself, you can see the technological advancements. So in, in this type of thing, if you're getting a right over your own property for almost 20 years, you can obviously commercialize that and monetary benefits also you can get from your patent then comes the investment privileges first of all once you uh, uh, go for the patent you can directly uh, showcase that patent to the investors who want to invest on your uh, technology or in your on your device to get into the market first of all the launching of the product is the main thing why we are doing invention or research is that it has to come to the public usage so for that first you have to protect it and then go into the public disclosure uh, after that, after 20 years also, even though it comes under the public, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, utilization and all, if you renew it and all, you can get at least the royalty benefits. And it gives you an assurance that your research is much credible and it is of some utilization. These are of patent registrations in Indian states. If it's not visible, I'm just uh, enlarging it for a few seconds. Okay, so these are the registrations in the Indian states and these are the major cities. I have just uh, everywhere it is available, but I'm just mentioning these cities where most of the patents would be registered in India. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have given a glimpse of the uh, patent filing procedure in India. Uh, this is a flow chart and with the, you know, uh, for filing to publication, it takes along with the time durations, like it takes about 18 months. And then uh, for the request for examination, it takes 48 months. So most of the people complain that it, it's taking a laborious uh, time period uh, and uh, we can't get any chance to go for into the public domain and all. No, once you do the filing of the patent, that very moment you can go for the launching of the product if your product is already ready or you can showcase the prototype outside so uh, but if you wait till publication it will be of your benefit so that uh, infringement of your uh, patent will not be much easier <clears throat> by the other bigger mncs and all so what is uh, uh, any shortcut is there yes we do have a shortcut and we do have a very advantageous shortcut i'll just explain to you that upcoming slide first we'll go to this <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, it's a very laborious process. Uh, so I have made it into a small flowchart so that for your better understanding. So invention uh, disclosure, we need form 1, 2, 3, and 26. And we can get these uh, forms from IPR India. Since our topic is IP, I mean, a patent search, if you have any doubts in this formats and forms, you can just come back to me after the class. Okay. So then I think how many slides are over now? Okay, it's already 10 slides. Any doubts, please ask me now because we, I think we don't have time to um, go back to the slides after I complete it. No questions? <coughs> there were no questions in the chat box, so you can- Okay, that. done. So this is the main procedure of our filing the Indian patent. So first we'll do the invention disclosure. That means you have to write your abstract in such a way that it has to be inventive, uh, it has to be novel, and it, it should have at least one inventive step and it should have an applicability or the uh, manufacturing utilization, you can say. 
Then comes the patentability search. This is where we'll focus today. Our main class will be here. So uh, there will be a collective of uh, search fr uh, free from the inventors. Uh, this this fee is for the patent agents or uh, you know um, the attorneys who will conduct this uh, uh, patentability search. So right now what I will be teaching you is how to do this patent search of yourself so that at least before starting your research or the innovation itself, you will know whether whatever innovation you are envisaging is uh, already available or you are having any competitors so that you can go for the advancement or already they have reached to some state where you can just start your invention from the stage where they have stopped. So I think most of the people might have done your MTech or even your BTEC project report at the end of your final year, I think you have to submit your project reports and all. In that, there is a, a section where you will be having like, you know, um, literature review. So it is a little bit similar to that. Your patentability search is almost similar to the literature review, but there are some uh, extra advanced uh, features in it where you will get the complete uh, portfolio of whatever the invention you are, even before trying your invention itself, while you're doing your paperwork, before going for the research itself, you can get the clarity whether you have to go for it or not. Because nowadays, uh, research without any value I mean, without any utilization, immediate utilization, I won't say that without any utilization, without any immediate utilization, uh, they are not taking, uh, I mean, they are not granting any funds or you cannot apply for any, uh, you know, inventors or investors for your project to continue. Everything you cannot burden yourself at first place until unless you have a very big company of yourself. <coughs> So then comes the search report. So uh, search report also sample, I'll show it to you and uh, I can share it with you. I think uh, Mr. Ravikeja, I have not shared the trademark, uh, this thing also. I, sorry for the this thing that I did not get time, but I'll share both of them today, okay? So this uh, search report is what uh, sample search report I'll share with all of you so that you can just, according to the steps and all, you can conduct your search in the first place. Then, uh, so uh, you have conducted a search report, so you got your recommendations done. Then according to the recommendations, if you if you still feel that your patent is very noble and all, then you can go for the advanced search. So there will be some tools which have to be paid and that has to be done by the patent attorneys or the uh, patent agents. Then if everything is good, uh, if it is not rejected at the search report, then you can go for the patent drafting and uh, the drafting. And if you have dra uh, drawings or something also, that also has to be kept in the block diagrams and all. And uh, there will be a drafting fee, obviously, from the inventors uh, to the attorneys and all. If you are a patent agent, this can be done by yourself. So obviously, you have the right to sign it also. Then comes the patent filing. So form 18 is uh, for the patent filing. So filing of the patent application, then it goes for the examination and you'll get some comments and uh, you have to respond to the comments and then you'll have the publications in the patent journal. If you don't have any comments and all, you can, directly you can go for the patent journal publications where only your abstract will be publish, published. So your total main inventive steps or the novelty steps will not be published here. So you can straight away after the publication go into the market launch. Then after that, you'll have a grant of patent after 18 months only, this process will take place and till 20 years, you'll have the right. <coughs> now, <clears throat> this is the uh, thing about. So usually patent registration in India, the very first step of application is that filing of the patent application. See, this is after your patent search. First and foremost is the patent search after that filing of the patent application. So what are the different type of applications you can file? It has been uh, depicted here. You can just have a look at it. Now, publication of the patent application will take place only after 18 months. Means once you apply for the patent, you have to wait for the 18 months, which is a very, very long time. If your invention or the product is having an immediate utilization, then what you have to do? You have to go for the early publication of patent. So in the early publication of patent, after the filing, after within one month itself, you can go for the early publication of patent application where you have to fill the form nine. 
okay so you have to request the ipo through the, if you go through the patent agent it would be easy because they can guide you very well so there is a section uh, 11a2 of the indian patents act 1970 where under the rule of 24a was very clearly given that by filling out the form 9 and request requesting the ipo office to please publish your patent application showing the advantages and the requirement in the present uh, utilization and all you can happily go for the early patent publication and i can give you the best example of my patent i have got my patent granted within 2 years because of this so this is a very step you have to take after you public uh, i mean after you apply for the patent so then these are the other process on not pre grant opposition and all. <coughs> <coughs> sorry till now any doubts <clears throat> yes there are no doubts ma'am okay done so then after you are uh, publicizing the you know patent application and all uh, you can file for the request for examination so uh, this also you have a provision if you are a startup and you have a you know female inventor or a woman inventor uh, then uh, you can go for the early examination also so then after applying for the examination you'll get the fer report that is first examination report for patent filing so the response for the fer should be given within 12 months so don't think that i'll wait till 12 months and give my fer report then it will be a loss for you so immediately within one month if you give then you can get the uh, very fastly but <coughs> excuse me in the previous slide i have not uh, said one thing it's not like you have go, you have to directly go for the patent early publication of patent until unless you are pretty much sure that your patent would be granted because as uh, long as you have advantages you too have disadvantages for this early publication of patent form that is first of all uh, disadvantage only I, i want to speak because there are pre grant opposition since you are applying for the early publication by pay, uh, by paying extra fee they will take an extra care and uh, the attorneys will immediately look into your patent and they will do the comparison studies though you conduct the prior art search obviously they'll have the advanced tools to conduct the prior art search there so that has to be done if at all you leave it for 18 months obviously according to the normal uh, you know procedures and formalities and standards it will anyways get into the publicizing area okay so then <coughs> excuse me and when you go for the early publications and once it is published you cannot do any changes but other than that if you uh, do for the provisional patent or normal patent you have a provision for the addition of patent uh, already i have given like patent applications different applications in that you have addition of patent application provision but here you will not get that chance because it was uh, it will already been published by now then you will have an in inability to withdraw the application you cannot withdraw the application and once it comes to the public domain you can directly go for the either uh, for the edition or you can go for the next examination report so of course these disadvantages are there but still if you are very much confident and already your uh, complete innovation is done and it is just has to be launched into the uh, only that is only left behind that the product has to be launched or the technology has to come into the utilization then this is a very good option to go for the early publication of patent application so now we will come for the <coughs> excuse me we will come for the patent search types of patent search <clears throat> so very foremost thing for any students for any faculty or for any uh, individual inventors or innovators and all that is the novelty search or prior art search let me see if you can see prior art search report <clears throat> actually i'm sharing the prior art search report is it visible no madam <clears throat> okay then after this presentation i'll show about a prior art search report and first you have to see uh, you have to uh, designate into it into the three types that is what is the purpose you are uh, doing this novelty search that is within the scope of patentability subject see the subject is related to you know uh, chemical engineering for example and you are searching your patent search in the electronics or some civil uh that is not the immediate purpose you have to search for you have to search in the domain of the patent invention <clears throat> then whether this is useful 
second point and then we'll get whether it is novel or non-obvious non-obvious means it is not a very obvious invention which is already available and by seeing the abstract itself you can say that array this is already available in the public domain so it should not be like that then comes when it can be performed in the development stage see already you have started your invention you have done your literature survey and you found that uh, no uh, there is no invention related to this uh, till now in the public domain then in the development stage in the beginning of the development stage and also during the development stage you can conduct this novelty search or prior art search because once you start your experimentation then you will get to your um <coughs> excuse me when you start your experimentation or research then you will get your points like what i have to search and uh, what are the things for what, what are the steps i have to do for the next procedures and all so at that time you can conduct your novelty search or prior art search then scope you have patents and patent applications foreign and national published anywhere in the world that can be um, i mean accessed in the google patent google patent search if you go you can get all the access of the domain then so first is like for conducting your research and going forward in your invention or experimentation, you will conduct your novelty search or prior art search. Second type of patent search you'll see, these will be usually conducted by the <clears throat> MNC companies or the competitors uh, to see whether the uh, new product in their domain is coming out, uh, whether it is infringing their or violating their rights or claims of the patent, which are already, uh, who are already having their patents. That is one purpose or uh, until and let's see, uh, whenever a new product is launched, like uh, cars and all, they will obviously give the features and silent features of the product or the innovation, and they will launch it in the public domain. At that time, what their competitors uh, or the legal attorneys of their MNC companies, other competitor MNC companies will do, they will do this freedom to operate search to see, <coughs> excuse me, to see whether the infringement search is there whether they can whatever the i mean uh, new features they are claiming that is very much new and they are uh, uh, posing that it is a, a novel car or a new car and all whether those with the uh, within their car or are violating their patent which they have already filed so all these things will be done by the you know professional legal attorneys in the other mnc companies like competitor mnc companies then it will be getting like scope whether the patent has been issued, whether they have applied for the patent and whatever the patent they have applied, whether it lasts within this 20 years or already it has come to the public domain. They have to uh, see their patent and also others' patents. <clears throat> this is se uh, second type of search is over. Now, third one is validity search. What is validity search is generally, um, I mean, individuals or companies will do a uh, possibility to see whether whatever the new patent has come into the see when the public a patent is being published in the public uh, public journal of ip then what happens then abstract will come so from that abstract they will try to see if this new product could uh, give them any infringement risk or uh, it will give the i mean competitors will accused of any infringing their patent all these things they will search first of all so example also i have given uh, the similar thing which has been uh, gone through in 2002 and 2003 i think it's visible <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> then comes the landscape search so why do we conduct landscape search for example you are in some shipbuilding uh, company or uh, in the shipbuilding uh, domain and uh, you want to uh, patent a new invention or a new methodology uh, in the building sector uh, and you want to see uh, whether uh, this technology is already there or what is the need of this technology in the domain in the present stage. Maybe it is 2023. You have had this idea from 2012, but you could able to generate it and uh, directly get that, uh, uh, I mean, shape out of the invention in 2023. You want to see within, do you think that within this 10, 20, I mean, 12 years, there is no invention in that area? then you will conduct the landscape search to see whether this technology is available or whether relevant to this technology or advanced technologies are available in this area or not. So that is called landscape search. And even uh, it will, the landscape search will give even the potential uh, licenses or licensors. This is useful for the individual uh, players. You know? <clears throat> then 
uh, some other types of patent search like state of art search it's like uh, for the research you're collecting the it's almost like your literature review a literature survey only like uh, you are uh, getting overview of the uh, technology or the product uh, in that uh, domain <clears throat> It's like an, uh, gathering your uh, uh, relevant references. That's what I can say, simply. And then comes the bibliographic search. Now, what is this bibliographic search? That means you know a patent number. Some, from somewhere you got to know. For example, I have told my patent number. So you are also from the mineral processing sector. You want to search what is there in the patent and all because it's already publicized in the public domain. So you, you will search for the specific patent number in the patent search and you'll see. And um, I mean, if you are also in the same sector, what you will get out of this? You will get the idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Like at what stage I have uh, this, uh, another researcher has done his, uh, his or her patent and you want to start from there. That will be that uh, the ending point of the patent claims will be the starting point of your invention. Then you go for the continue searching. It's like a parallel thing. You are doing the research and uh, you want to uh, uh, know about the current awareness of the uh, i mean relevant area searches and all you want to see all the patents or maybe for your uh, for uh, increasing your literature review or surf, uh, references you want to do that but whatever it is it's like a continuing search which is like an assignment search you will do it uh, for your records or patents what all available in the public domain and all usually all you know uh, government officials or ip officials and all will do this to uh, get an idea about the different uh, sectors like see annually we have to present the reports so what we'll do we'll do the continuing searches and we will record it somewhere and we will prepare the gun charts and project charts or uh, whatever the bar charts and finally we will explain the chart saying that in this sector these many patents are there in this sector these many patents are registered or filed and got grant comparing it with the world uh, uh, sectors and all so for the for them it is useful as a continuing search then comes number search uh, i'll show how to uh, see the number in the patent application <coughs> while it is publicly um, i mean after grant uh, it will be directly publicized in the public with all the patent numbers who all the inventors are what is the abstract drawings and everything will be there there you will have the patent number two if you have done it in india you will have the indian patent number and if the same patent has been already even uh, processed in the pch applications you will get that also so uh, for us means you will have us like that so in that way uh, you will get to know you know the number and you want to search the, for the patent and see what is the claims available so that you want to change your claims uh, and or your attorney want to change the claims so, uh, as a result there won't be any novelty or infringement risks between you two uh, i mean between your invention and the already competitor who have, who has been launched in the market <clears throat> then what is the next search this is the uh, main important search uh, for students or researchers is that the keyword search so <coughs> excuse me as an inventor, the very foremost thing that is uh, that you can do that as a lame person, as a lame inventor, is that to uh, gather the keywords. You know how to write the abstract in the uh, paper publication. So what you will do in that you will write after the abstract, you will put some keywords, right? So like that in your patent also, after you describe your patent in your own words, you will search what are the keywords. That means the specific words, the unique and words which will describe your invention like that so those words or the fields which specify your invention will be taken aside either it may be uh, kept in the titles or in the abstracts or uh, it has to project in the claims so uh, those are the main things you have to search for so these keywords you keep aside for example you have some 10 keywords you will keep aside and that keywords you place it in the google patent search and you will just search for the whether those keywords are available or not through the keywords, you'll get the already published patents or published papers for your reference to uh, categorize and to, you know, um, differentiate, like how your invention is different from them. <coughs> then you have classification codes. It is there only for the advanced searches. So at your uh, initial stages, it is, uh, I mean, uh, not needed because it needs a paid databases to search for the classification codes. <coughs> legal status searching so uh, i'll go for the patent uh, status search 
whether it has been granted or it has been rejected or uh, see your uh, main publication has already abstract has already been publicized then what whether the patent has been granted or not you have to check right after uh, you know it will take around some 12 months to 18 months so after 18 months you'll go back to the patent which is very much similar to your invention and you'll see whether it has been granted or rejected if it is rejected then you will see the uh, things like why it is rejected okay so um, if at all any amendments to the claims because our claims amendments or addition of patents are also available so then you'll see or there is change in the ownership that also you'll see because ownership also will be given after if at all the uh, patent has been granted and published then ownership like who is the inventor and who are the inventors involved in it also will be given whether that ownership has been changed or not we'll see so this is called legal status search so what are the search engines like uh, on what platforms you have to search for your uh, information or patents or uh, innovations and all so there are free sites like uh, wipo uspto espacenet uh, google patent search which is a very common thing and indian patent office of course so there are paid sites also like dialog pro delphin uh, devent micro patent also orbit crystal is also there uh, which will give even you uh, which will give even the ip landscaping also uh, this is actually uh, till now any doubts <coughs> there seems to be no doubts madam but voice is uh, blinking like that they're saying just check no, your no, connection it's fine, madam. It's, fine, it's fine someone is saying voice is not visible wow she has a very creative mind here she or he it's not visible also to me please let me know how to see voice <clears throat> okay it's jokes fine. apart sorry it's audible it is audible ma'am. yeah yeah audible fine so this is my patent uh i will let you know like how the stage by steps uh i have followed i'll show it to you okay i'm sharing you my <coughs> excuse me let me see how i can share Yeah, is it uh, visible? Yes, ma'am. See, these are the things uh, or these are the steps we have followed. I have started this application process on 17-3-2020 officially. Okay, so I have uh, done this form three statement of undertaking. And then I have gone for the power of attorney because uh, since I am not a patent, Agent, I have to take the help of a patent agent giving the power of attorney to the agent. Okay, then the next step is form one filling, and then uh, I mean, I have a process technique for myself, so it is a drawings. Okay, so I have some drawings and all. I cannot open this because it's a patent, right? So just understand that what all forms are needed. Then declaration of inventorship. So I have given my declaration, then uh, I have claimed the complete specifications, then the abstract has been given. And uh, I have given the correspondence. See, once you give your abstracts, you have to give your correspondence also, means differences, right? <coughs> so that also I formed. Then form nine. This is what I have done here. Uh, you please see it. This is the request for publication. This is for early publication. This is the only step, though uh, unknowingly I have done it uh, for uh, submitting my PhD. Uh, this is my PhD project. So. Uh, it has been very much important for me to submit my PhD project and I have to show uh, that uh, I have already applied for the patent. So for that, I have done this actually, this form nine filling. Okay. Then <coughs> after that, um, I mean, it took almost uh, publication immediately it happened. Then after that, uh, I have requested for the early examination also. That is called 18 year form because I wanted to be um, done a little bit early. I did not wait for 48 months. So I have directly gone for the form 18. But that then also due to COVID, I had to stop for some time and uh, then I have to go for it. Then I got it FER immediately within one month with all the queries uh, from the attorney, <clears throat> from the IP officials. So that according to that, we have uh, prepared the FER reply and we have applied it. 
uh, then again we have changed our drawings because he has uh, suggested some changes so we have done that and again we have done complete specification claims abstract everything from first again because once you do some changes you have to again do it everything from first then <coughs> excuse me then i got the hearing notice on uh, 1910 2022 uh, then our controller or the patent agent that's what i'm saying if you are the patent agent then uh, I mean, that communication between you and the patent agent can be just avoided and you can do it for yourself. And obviously, since you are the inventor, you will have that command over the technology. So yeah, I have to explain everything to the uh, controller and all, but uh, I mean, agent, but she was not that much uh, you know, confident. So what she did, she took some time. So hearing, this is the request for adjournment of hearing. Okay, so we have extended the hearing notice for next month. And then after the hearing notice, uh, some written submissions and uh, uh, some he suggested some word changes and all like legal terms changes and all that also we have done and finally i got my written submission. so this is the process <clears throat> any doubts no there happens to be no doubts ma'am okay then we'll go for the presentation then Okay, ma'am. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, mine is a process technology okay then i will show you the product technology which we have patented okay this is a watercraft just a second some technical glitches i'm getting here Uh, give me a minute. Meanwhile, you please have a look at the presentation and see uh, if you have any doubts. So I'm showing you the fact sheet, like how to do the search for patent relevant publications and all. Okay, these are some of the paid uh, commercial patent databases. The simple database is like, um, as I told you, Google patent search and all. If you can try, you try out. I have shown you the screenshot here, like how to search and all. Yes. Just give me a moment, okay? Ravite Jagaru, just a minute, Anne. Sorry guys for the inconvenience. Okay. <clears throat> so shall I say, share the website? You want to do it for yourself once? You can directly type for go, uh, Google patents and see. Okay, then comes your Google patent search, uh, patent search, how you have to do the Google patents search. <coughs> you know some medical claim, so I have uh, typed it as a medical claim. And see, you will have a uh, area where the settings you will get, you can see languages, turn on safe search or advanced searches. Okay, so if you want advanced search, you have to click for the advanced search or simple search, you can go with the directly typing your medical claim and you can go for the search. While I'm uh, telling, uh, I mean, while I'm um, uh, depicting you in the screenshots, you can directly try also in your uh, uh, laptop or, you know, mobile. Okay. Then if you click the advanced search, it opens like this. 
So as I told you, for the advanced search, you should need the US classification, international classification and all. When you type your uh, sector, okay, and uh, you see that uh, what, what classification it comes under, then you'll get this international classification and cooperative classification. So uh, by applying that, you can also search. IP India is the easier search process. Uh, someone said yes for what? May I know? That, uh, that is to Any doubt? English question, madam. Uh, what uh, is my previous question? You asked whether they can see the. Acha, acha. Okay, okay. Fine. Got it. Okay, done. Then, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, once you go for the IP patent search, so here you'll get the patents. So once you click patents, you'll get the publications or uh, I mean, you know, uh, you'll get manuals. You have design also here. I'm just uh, concentrating on patents. Okay. Try it out. If you're getting any problem, please let me know so that I'll also do it. To save time, I have done that. Okay. So... Um, these these informations like these are the um, you know websites where you can get your patent information free of cost that means the search you can conduct for free So what are the search tools and analysis tools? Uh, these are like, you know, uh, when you go for the different uh, tools or databases, uh, usually in uh, paid databases, you will get these interfaces, search operators, search tools and analysis tools. So these are defined separately in the paid databases. So when we conduct, uh, you know, paid data search, then uh, we have to use all these things. But uh, since uh, for normal search and all, this is not uh, much useful. I'm not going in depth information of that because we have short of time. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the case studies, I'm showing you WIPO and eSpaceNet. But uh, if you want to search your uh, category of inventions or patents in the, you know, uh, these interfaces like WIPO and eSpaceNet, you can see. So these, these will be your uh, categories. You just have to type WIPO and uh, this also will provide. Link also I'll provide, you please search for it. Am I audible? Yes, madam. Okay. So these are like field combinations. You'll get, uh, I'm just uh, showing you like how we conduct our, uh, uh, you know, uh, paid data searches and all for your understanding only. Okay. But this WIPO and all, you can go for this also, like advanced search also, you'll have an option. In Google patents also, you'll have this option. But uh, you should have a handy knowledge about all the uh, tools and how, how we'll use and everything. So for the advanced details and everything, you can always contact me. So I'll show you like if at all eSpaceNet, how to conduct it and all. So these are like cross-lingual. That means a combination of two, three, two to three subjects in a single patent also, you can search for it. So that is known as CLIR, cross-lingual search. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, for uh, eSpaceNet, I would suggest you to go for the quick search for, uh, I mean, say if you are at the initial stages of your invention and all. And eSpaceNet advanced search is also there, but uh, you need more keywords, more priority numbers. And uh, you have to uh, specify like uh, whether that, uh, I mean, uh, application is in India or uh, somewhere uh, it has been patented and all. So everything you have to search in Google patents and then you keep it here, then you'll get the advanced search, whether it has been uh, granted or not. 
as i already told you these are the operators i mean they will uh, be given like see boolean operators means end or and net that means if you are saying that uh, mineral processing then uh, mineral is different from processing then what you have to do mineral end processing or you have to type mineral or processing in the search databases when you are using espace net or wipo you have to do this <coughs> excuse me so simple uh, wipo ip portal i'm showing so here uh, i have selected this a b c d e f g h uh, what all things are there you can see it like human necessities i mean your invention is related to human necessities or performing operations or transporting uh, so it depends like if your invention is a combination of chemistry metallurgy and also it has something like tiles and paper then you have to opt for c and d so that is known as ipc division okay so your classification will come like that that means uh, for example uh, your classification is a a means human necessities so class is a21 so 21 is for baking equipment for making and all then you want to go for the subclass search then you have to go for c c means machines or equipments for making the dows and all so like that uh, it's like a i mean how to conduct the search i have just given an example here how to conduct the advanced search okay so you should know what is a what is b what is c 21 what is 2 what is 1 what is 06 and all these things will be given in the portal itself <coughs> what is the advantage of the advanced search you can get the ip landscaping these numbers will be there uh, i told you know you should know that uh, uh, classification numbers so these are the numbers So these are some of the different uh, databases and all okay so you have a patent document what information are you getting from the patent document these are the these are structured into three parts you have to see title you have to see summary of the invention you have to see the name of the inventor so if i show you for example like this uh, can you uh, if i ask you what is application number can you say So I have described you how to check it. <coughs> Excuse me. So always this will be your first paper. I mean, first page in your patent application. And this will be your second page where it will describe you the technical description. And here will be your claims, third part. So these three you have to check uh, when you're checking a patent invention. I mean, when you're seriously checking your patent invention, which is very much similar to your invention or your patent. <clears throat> this is already I have explained to you, but uh, in a detailed way, I am just giving you here. I already told you bibliographic search uh, data. Okay, so this is bibliographic data search. <clears throat> so I told you international application number. Filing date will be here. What all the states it's designating is here. So these all you have to note it down for doing your advanced search. See, this is your publication number. This is your application number. This is your priority date number. This is very much important because it shows you whether this uh, patent has been, uh, I mean, in use or not. If it is more than 20 years, then it is not in use. <coughs> that means already it has been publicized. So this is filing date. So from here you have to check. Then this is publication date. That means they have applied and then it will go for the publication. So you have inventors and inventors or applicants who are, uh, I mean, not only one inventor, it is having many. So that all the details of the inventors will be given here. And these agents are the one who has filed their patent. This is the classification. So when you are doing classification search, you have to see this column. These are the designated states. When if you are doing search uh, in the mind of states, that means you want to see only in these states whether your patent is available or not. Then you can do this designated state search. <clears throat> so uh, for uh, drafting your claims, always take a reference which is a little bit similar to your invention. See their, uh, how they are doing their drafting and accordingly you draft your claims. <clears throat> so
so why do you do patent <coughs> excuse me why do you do patent search or patent application registration and all for the final technology transfer procedure so after your patent been publicized or after you file your patent itself you can start for the technology commercialization any questions please there seem to be no questions madam did you understand or not that is my question that is the <laughs> since time is short it's actually a very vast subject and i have uh, only just a limited time of 1 hour so i have to complete it as fast as possible i know i have gone in a very fast pace any doubts you can just always reach me i think i have given my contact details in our previous class ravitesh garu yes, please ma'am. make sure yeah yes, make yes. sure if they have any questions you please uh, let me know in my oh, sure. well, they also have this recording in youtube so you know they can revisit the class also if they want okay then uh, only last thing i want to show you is uh, how to uh, how to do a prior art search i'll just take a moment okay <coughs> excuse me so this is the prior art search report it's a sample report i'm just showing it to you we have done it for the uh, i mean one of the ship building companies so this is the invention we got it there is a small uh, invention this is a overview and the cd diagram but the actual invention is this this has been here if you can notice i mean from inside the uh, this thing this has been attached so what is the use of this is that Uh, for the easy movement of the ships while it is uh, on i mean in on the shore when it is going and also the dock floor it can easily go into the dock floor for the you know uh, installation process and other uh, uh, you know cleaning procedures and all so they have invented this new one whatever the databases we used i have just given it here always uh, during first patenting or uh, drafting before starting the drafting we we'll go we also go for the google patents and google scholar search only and then we'll go for the orbit crystal and ip india wipo e space net we'll go for other databases also if we find uh, i mean something relevant if a little bit of similar things are come then we'll go for the much advanced stage if we are not getting anything in the simple uh, searches and all you can always go for the uh, research <clears throat> so i got some references here <coughs> excuse me we always have to conduct patent uh, literature research and also non patent literature research <clears throat> and we just go for the comparison stage so that abstract i have taken only for the reference actually i have compared even the claims when we go for the detailed databases and all i'm just uh, just scrolling it if you have any doubts you can ask me there are all the um, i mean relevant type of inventions i found out while i was uh, searching for the um, uh, patent what we have to find so when we uh, come out of uh, some relevant uh, uh, you see similar type of or parallel type of invention what we'll do is we'll just uh, inform the inventor that uh, and these are the claims which are actually replicating with your invention and uh, that inventor either will uh, try to modify it or uh, try to uh, find uh, find some alternative solution like advanced solution of that and uh, then come back to us or else we'll give them some references like how implicitly and how uh, uh, this can be <clears throat> where his uh, his or her invention is disclosed or not or whether it has been infringed also we'll come to know through this search report so final observation and results we'll uh, give it in the comments <clears throat> and whether we are recommending or not also we'll give so this is how you have to conduct your search another simple search report is also there uh, as a students you can easily understand that so that i'll share it with you because it's a little bit of complicated uh, patent <clears throat> tell me whether it is visible or not is it visible Yes, ma'am. <coughs> This is a, a buoyancy engine, actually. 
it uh, uses a simple uh, fluid uh, you know transportation uh, methodologies and buoyancy methodologies so this is a simple thing patent or not patent uh, i have taken some four patents or uh, and one non patent this is uh, this is just a journal so i have seen i have identified the you know uh, key concepts as per the description of the inventor these are the key concepts these are the main inventive steps what he is claiming are new and novel and are having some uh, inventive step and all so this key concepts categorization is the main thing what you have to do during your patent search then you'll do uh, i mean uh, you know prior art uh, closest to prior art search what are the novel features and all so uh, you'll see see all six 1 2 3 4 5 6 are the key concepts uh, after uh, reading through the patent and all you'll see this dash means it is not similar tick means it is similar that means whatever the invention or claims he is claiming now our our inventor is claiming is actually uh, matching with this fifth point what is this fifth point it can be customized to the end user's requirement for the capacity depth operation buoyancy alteration rate so this uh, whatever the uh, key concept is same in this invention too so we have to see at least one column where uh, it it is not finding anything so see this is the column and this is also the column it is only it is not patented it's just a theoretical work so these two are considered as the priority or inventive steps for recommending this invention patent registration this is the inventors this is the product prototype Nathesh Agarwal, I think I have done. Okay, madam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, thank you for uh, troubling you. Uh, uh, no uh, issues. Sorry. It's not at all troubling. Uh, actually, it has been a short notice, but fine. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah so so I, uh, I also got it a little bit of clumsy. I couldn't able to get the time to, you know, mm. shortcut my presentation. It's a very lengthy one. Uh, hope uh, since it is recorded, that is an added advantage. You can always go back to the things and see, and if you get doubt, you can come back to me. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, students, that is your class today on patent search. If you have any questions, I'll be here for another five minutes. If you have any questions, uh, you can post it in the chat box. I will take care of your. I'll answer your questions. Anyone? Related to today's class patent search. You don't have any questions? Okay, this material will be shared with you. Uh, and by the way, uh, your you will tentatively have your exam on 20th of this month 20 20th of february tentatively it is not yet confirmed but we, if it is confirmed we will let you know in the group crs we will we'll let your crs know about the exam exam date and time so that will be a, a confirmation from our side but tentatively so that you can get prepared well ahead please go through the reference textbooks and the materials we share with you that would be enough for the exam and also we will share a question bank of 170 or 180 odd questions so that you can uh, prepare well uh, with the exam uh, for the exam we will share it in your CR group ok uh, if you don't get anything please ask your CR and uh, get it Sudhir Kumar you are asking about material google drive link sensor what material Google Drive link you are asking? Everything was already shared with your CRs. Please ask your CR. Exam will be online, most probably. Vasudeva Rao, attendance link is already shared in the group. You were not there during the class maybe. Please try to attend the class. Exam mode, online mode. I am already answering those questions Venkatesh, exam will be online. Any other questions? 
anybody i will still that uh, date of the exam should be confirmed tentatively it could be for on a 20th the exam will be for 100 marks exam is in phone it is not in phone Atten attendance link is already shared sir february 19th we have UPSC exam exam may be conducted on month end is good for this uh, we are sorry exam date would tentatively be at around february 20th uh, I, I don't know about UPSC exam but still you'll have another day right yeah so objective mode or descriptive all the details regarding the exam will be shared in your CR group so please ask your CRs we are we are yet to confirm to about the mode of the exam and everything in your in the CR group we will put it in the CR group and uh, you ask your CRs to share the information we will confirm it in uh, one in, uh, in in most probably in next two days so 13th will be your last uh, class on practicals that will be on design search uh, and from then uh, on 20th seven days afterwards uh, 20th will be your exam most probably there are no model papers Vasudevarao I'm sorry uh, but you will have a question bank that you can uh, go through it we'll share it with you with your CRs Chandrasekhar Bhattina UPSC exam is in Hyderabad that's fine you can take your exam on your mobile devices also <coughs> mobile devices or computers or laptops anywhere you was it would take only one hour for the exam okay then uh, if there are no more questions then we will wind up today's uh, session exam most probably it will be in the morning uh, 20th maybe from 11 to 12 I guess I am not too sure we will confirm it later in the next two days we will confirm it Joseph you don't have to share the attendance link here we have already done that that is not your job students please don't share the attendance links in the groups let you let all your friends attend the class and gain the knowledge by sharing the attendance link to all the people in the group you are actually encouraging them not to attend classes that's not good on your part okay that will be the end of the session today uh, you may leave